and then I asked him if he had an ID just for the report, and he was like, I'm not giving you anything, I'm just a passenger, blah, 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 and he's got his, like, camera with the little selfie stick out. What's going on, everybody? I'm here at First Squadron 278th ACR. The Army National Guard here in Springfield, Tennessee, right across the street from the high school. So that way, as soon as they graduate, they want them to walk right over here and sign up for the military. Which literally, you have to. Well, I know men do. I don't know if they make you do it for women or not, but I know every man has to go sign up when they turn 18. Let's see. Tennessee Army National Guard. It probably won't take but a minute for someone to realize I'm out here. Now see, have they got that front window mirrored so that way you cannot see in? If people want privacy, that's what they have to do. If people want privacy, that's what they have to do, y'all. And we've been spotted. Communication tower. Somebody will be out here in a minute. I'm trying to get a shot of that, but it's not coming out. I'm gonna have to walk down this way to get it. There you go. Tennessee Army National Guard. Are you going to come out? Probably guarantee it. I told you. Hey, how are you? I'm good, and you? Doing well. This is a uh, federal facility. You can't film it. Because it, what you're doing? I'm taking videos and pictures. For what? A story I'm doing. On what? The National Guard. Did you talk to anybody about getting permission to come out and do a PAO? With our PAO reps? Um, no. Okay, there's a process you have to go through in order to get a PAO rep to come out and then they can walk you through the building and Well I wouldn't even go we inside. Do. I was just well, I getting know, some shots outside, outside is still it's a no go thing. There's no restricted zones, restricted area zones. Okay. Well this is not a place that you can film. And why? Because it's a federal facility. Federal is government, which is Correct. public property. Not necessarily. Unless you have a no rest I mean, restricted area access signs. Like if I go inside that building, I'm sure if I go into that lobby, there's doors y'all have up that say restricted access. Correct. Where y'all have to have, use cards to get into. Okay. Points like that, I cannot go through. But anything out here, there's no sign stating that I can't walk down here, take pictures. I will have a sign up. As a matter of fact, go print one out right now. 
on and there. go stick it up on the, the thing out there? Well, I there actually has to be a code behind it. It can't just be a sign. It actually has to be a code law. Uh, go into the USC. Because you ever heard of the First Amendment that y'all fight for? I do, and I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm super big fan of the First Amendment, Second Amendment. I love the Constitution. I really do. I also have to think about the welfare of the guys that are here because of the things that went on in Washington. There's a lot of people that are upset right now. And I'm here for no ill will. I came to get pictures and a little bit of video. Once I get that, I'm leaving. Y'all ain't going to have no problems for me. I mean, can I get your name? Uh, <laughs> every time I've ever done that, and because I go around to a lot of government buildings and I do this, this is what I do. And every time I've ever done that, I got retaliated against. So I'm going to remain anonymous. Okay. I'm not going to retaliate. I don't even live here. So I live way perfect world. Yeah, I, I don't live in this town either. But. Um, well, we're going to print out the USC code, have it put up there. The biggest thing is that there's things here that are not supposed to be videotaped. There's classified material. And but I'm not on the inside to get that yeah, classified material. Yeah, but it kind of looks a little weird with everything that's going on right now. Our force protection level is kind of high right now because of everything that's going on. Okay, but feelings don't trump my rights. Your 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 concern I, I, for security to, don't trump my. You, you are. Concerned. You're I'm telling me I have to leave, and you're going to put up a sign stating I can't come down. I here. am going to put a sign up because that's what you said. You said if it had a sign up that you couldn't come in and do it. Now let me ask you. A question. But then I'm going to call your superiors and find out if you were illegally allowed to do that. Do that, and if you, not, you, you I'm going to sue you for violating my rights, to, Johnson. Do you want me to give you my superior's phone number? No, I can look it up. No, I mean I go I go get you my government phone right now. All right. I don't need your government phone. No, I mean, we can call them. We don't have to wait or do any of this. We can call them right now. I mean, I'm just trying to help you. I understand what you're trying to do. I'm just telling you from this side of the house, it is not... You are the first uh, National Guard base that I have walked on, and they told me that. Even Fort Campbell did not do that. Now, I know that's un I know you didn't go into Fort Campbell and film. Really? Because it is okay. subject to seizure on every fence that you go inside. I didn't go inside it. You I walked the outside, outside and around the gates. Okay. I'm not inside that building. All right. I'm on the outside in a public parking lot. All right. This is government, sir, which is public property. You cannot trespass me or keep me off public property unless I've committed a crime. You need to go I look at it. That you created or made a crime. I know, but to put up a sign saying that I can't come down here, that's violating my rights because this is government property that my tax How do dollars I know pay for. What it is that you're, what you're I told you is. what I was doing. Would, I, I mean, if that. somebody out here doing you're ill will, you're would telling you? Me what you what, what you're trying to do, but you're not telling me what it's for. I said I'm doing a story. What's the story about? I can't tell that. <laughs> I'll have the thing put up. The police are on the way now. So, if you want my superior, I'll be more than happy to go get my phone. Sergeant Brajo, will you get my phone? Yeah. And then we can call them right now. <coughs> no What's reason. your full name, Johnson? My name is Master Sergeant Johnson. Okay. Because your name will be first on the lawsuit. I'm not playing. I, I hope you're You not. won't be the first. Even called the police to come violate my rights. Are you here to join the National Guard today? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you her name and phone number, and I'll do it on tape so that you can replay this back. Okay. Her name is Major Mann, M-A-N-N. -N. Her phone number is 615-613-6656. My phone number is 931-308. 5371. Okay. And you can reach me at any time you want to. Okay. I can give you my email. More than welcome to it. Uh, give you a business card. Your phone number is good enough. Okay. So the police are on their way. Yes. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I, this just is very weird for us when people stand outside and they start filming. Things. When they start recording property that they pay for. That's weird to you? Well, it's... It's more the concern of uh, just a potential threat. It don't matter. Your feelings don't trump my rights. I'm not saying it's my feelings, sir. Y'all are worried about y'all's security. 
Well, I'm sure when y'all are overseas in battle, does the enemy come up and tell you he's going to do something or stand out there and let you see him? Potentially. Yes. A lot of times they come out and really? record things similar to this. That's why it's a potential. I don't know if you're aware of the things that have happened at recruiting offices and armory in the past many years, but there have been uh, threats, there have been shootings, there have been deaths. So That happens every day everywhere. It does. You're right. But if you saw something that you saw as a potential... So does that mean that because it's happening everywhere across the country, we should just stop anybody that shows up with a camera or anything, uh, violate their rights and tell them to get off the property that they paid for? I'm just saying... We're just so asking to do the, the go to the correct channels with the PAO rep. I did go through the correct channels. It's called the Constitution. The freedom of press that government cannot so restrict, you're and you're trying to. So you're a press? I said I was a journalist. Okay, do you That's, have credentials? I'm independent. And who, who issues credentials? There's no agency that issues credentials. And usually the people you work for have the... Yeah, I could print them at home if I wanted to, but it's just a piece of paper stating that I'm press. No, so I mean, all that we are, it's just, hey, you, if you want to report the building, that's fine. I mean, that's your, if it's your right to do it, that's fine. We're just saying that it's, we're asking you because we're somewhat concerned. If somebody was standing on my front yard or on the school's property recording, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, it's just worth a question. If well, your front yard's different. That's well, private property. Well, what if I'm staying on the road and just walking down the road recording everybody's house? I you mean, have the right to do that if you want it to. You're right. You do. That's as long as you are in a public area, you can record anything your eyes can see. That's fine. I mean, you can't like trespass to us. Are you prior service? Members? No. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I just, you know, you do uh, what you need to do. If you got questions, please feel free. Like uh, Master Sergeant Johnson said, you can reach out to our public affairs office. They're the ones that handle any questions, especially if you're trying to actually write a story about something with validity to it. They can answer. Well, this just there. became the story now. Okay. Well, being kicked off government property. Kicking you off. You're. He, he said the police is on their way. We didn't say you're kicked off. They come to do nothing but violate people's rights. We didn't say you're kicked but off. Y'all are supposed to fight for my rights and my freedoms. We do fight. And let me tell you, I fought a long time. Then what are you out here doing? You should you should walk out here and say, sir, what are you doing? And I tell you what I'm doing. And you say, okay, that's fine. Go back in and sit in there and watch me if you want to. But to sit there and tell me I'm not welcome here. No, it's fine, sir. You, hey, you're free to record. We just wanted to come out see what's going on because it is a little bit suspicious to see somebody record. This doesn't happen every day. It's suspicious of a felony or a misdemeanor. It's nothing. I'm just saying it it's is unusual. suspicious. So that's it. That's all. It's unusual? Yes. Every single phone. person in the world has a camera on their phone. Yeah, but not every person in the world comes out to get the army. Hey, but it's because fine. not every single person in the world is press. That's fine. Your, your press, your credentials, if you want to bring them, we're more than happy to. But um, you're fine to be here. We're just telling you we want to come out and say hello. Uh, do you have a name? I'm not giving it. Okay, that's fine. I'm Jeremiah Barrow. It's worn on our, our chest. You know, this is Master Sergeant Johnson. I mean, anyway, you're free to be here. We just wanted to say what's going on. But um, you're fine. I'm here for no ill will. I'm not going to harm y'all. I'm not going to touch no vehicles. I came here to get video pictures, and I'm leaving. That was it. Okay, that's fine. Well, good luck. Simply it. Appreciate it, and uh, you know, good luck with whatever story you're trying to write. Oh, y'all know about it tomorrow. Okay. Appreciate you. You see that, y'all? The people that supposed to fight for our rights. The very people that are supposed to stand there and fight for our rights is telling me that this is government property and I'm not allowed to be here. That is some major bullshit. Well, he said the cops were on their way, so I'm going to stand here and wait now. Y'all. I'm sorry. How are you doing? I'm good. They just wanted me to see what's going on. I, just I, I, I can explain to them what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I haven't talked to them yet. What's going on? Yep.
car number is... Seven fifteen plate seven zero one three dash Godbury. Alright sir, they just wanted me to let you know that it's kind of creepy out here videoing, but if you want to stay, you can stay, but they'd prefer you leave, mm -hmm. but that's up to you. Yeah, okay. Alright, you All have right. a good day. You too, thank you. Can I get your name and badge number? Yes sir, my name's Officer Nick Jones, my badge number is 750. Alright, thank you sir. Yes sir. I try to explain to them that, that I understand what they're saying, to, you know, that the attack stuff going on and all yes. the threats and all that. But, I mean, really, how many people come out here to do harm and would stand right here, one person, where they can be seen? Well, they just when is different it, incidences from the past. I, I'm, I know that, but even still, when that happened, they didn't know it was going to happen. It just happened. Yes. If somebody's going to do something, you're not going to see them. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, I'm just saying, that was my point, and their feelings don't trump my rights. I understand. Like he said he was going to put a sign up there saying this whole parking lot and area is a restricted area. Yes, well, if he does that, that's a violation of my rights if I can't walk back down here. Because this is government property, which is public property. Same way y'all can't stop me from coming and recording the police station. Yeah. yeah. Which I've done a million and one times. Yep. You know, so. All right. But, well, if you need us for anything, just call us, okay? Yep. Have a good one. <laughs> public property he didn't think he thought I was just some dumbass that would think oh my god he's gonna put a sign up I gotta leave and see the reason why I said that to him was because I was testing him to see if he would say that and he said exactly what I thought he would which is go print a sign now that's a violation of my rights if you do that buddy Well, I'm going to hang out here a few more minutes. There's no restricted signs here either, y'all. So we're going to walk on around. Who wants to go with me? Well, I don't give a shit. I'm taking you all with me. Camera there. Authorized personnel only. See, they have the signs up. They know. There's the phone number, y'all. Tennessee Army National Guard Recruiting Center. 615-382-0354. That is 615-382-0358. His name was uh, Johnson. And the other one, I called his first name Jeremiah, <laughs> ironically. <coughs> I didn't catch his last name. I'll have to look back on the video. 
Now see y'all? See how they have their signs up? And gate it? See the cop? I could see the cop in there explaining it to them. He said it's creepy. Yeah, I know. It's creepy that the guy that you steal money from and the thousands of other people that live in this town of Springfield, Tennessee, it's creepy that they might come and look at the property they paid for. Huh. Nah, that's creepy. That's creepy for somebody to think that way. Then he said, I do fight for your rights. No, you don't, dude. You do not. When is the last war that was fought that involved us losing our rights if it didn't happen? Exactly. The Civil War. The Revolutionary War. He does what the president tells him to do. He fights wars for the president, not for the people. There's no order the president would give that he would not obey. Even if it meant disarming us, he would do it. He's that tight. He's exactly that tight that would be right on board with coming along and disarming you. So in the near future, I would say if you live in this community, know what to expect. Johnson will violate your rights. The other dude, Jeremiah, the other guy, he never once said I wasn't allowed to be here or that he was going to put a sign up. Don't know why the cone's there. Cone don't make this restricted, bro. Remember every car on this lot, Jeremiah. Because I'm sure one's about to follow us. Alright, I guess I'm heading out. They did exactly what I thought they'd do. Called the police in hopes that my rights would get violated. But, the tables got turned on them. The cop explained it to them. Because I've done a lot of work in this area, y'all. A lot. On my other channel, I had nearly 500, over 500 videos. Y'all see him sitting there watching me? Nothing better to do than sit there and watch somebody who's not doing anything wrong. He's, it looked like he had a phone up recording me. Ninety-nine percent sure he does. And again, there is the high school.
You see we got a couple leaving there. At least they wave. Get out of the road. See, they're all heading out because they're going to follow me. They're probably going to park down the road somewhere. And hope that they get to see what vehicle I get in. Be sure to like, share. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get all notifications on my future uploads. And again, share this video on every social media platform you have. Help me grow. And I will see you guys in the next audit. Videos. I meant tip videos. Phone numbers, names will be in the link, in the pinned comment, and the uh, description. God bless.